Today we're learning about functions and relations. You know that a function is like a machine where you put something in and you get something out. Let's say this function adds one. If you put in five, you know that you're gonna add one and get out six. If you put in three, you know that you'll add one and get out four. And if you put in 15, you know that you'll add one and get out 16. So in a function, for each one input, you get out exactly one output. Five will always go in and come out as six. It'll never turn into anything else. This is different than relations. You can think of a relation like a similar machine, but in this machine, you don't always get out the same thing. Sometimes if you put in a five, you'll get out a six. But other times if you put in a five, you might get out a four. And still other times if you put in a five, maybe you'll get out a 10. So in a relation, for every one input, you might find yourself with many outputs. In contrast, a function must always have only one output for each one input. Now we can tell whether something's a function or a relation by looking at a table. Here's a table of inputs and outputs. Now you might notice that the same input, one, is listed several times. But when you look at the outputs, you can see that an input of one always turns into an output of two. We can see that an input of two will always give us an output of three, and that an input of three will give us an output of four. So this table shows that there's only one output for each input. And so this table does show us a function. In contrast, here's another table. Again, we can see that the input of 1 shows up several times. But in this table, sometimes a 1 gives us an output of 2, sometimes a 1 gives us an output of 0, and sometimes a 1 gives us an output of 5. So on this table, one input, the 1, has many different outputs. This is not a function, this is a relation. Let's practice identifying these together. Here is a table of inputs and outputs, and we want to identify if it's a function. Well, an easy place to start is to look for any inputs that appear more than once. What inputs appear more than once? Well, you can see that the input of two is listed more than once. And sometimes this two gives us an output of six, but other times this input of two gives us an output of four. So what is true about this table? Well, we can say that one input, just the two, can give us many different outputs. It could be either a six or a four. So what is this? Well, because this doesn't have only one output for each input, this is a relation. Let's look at another that's a little tricky. Here's a table of inputs and outputs. First, we can start by looking for any inputs that are listed more than once. Which inputs are listed more than once? Well, we can see that the 4 is listed twice, but both times the 4 gives us an output of what? It gives us an output of 0. In fact, an input of 2 also gives us an output of 0. An input of 3, that also gives us an output of 0. And an input of 5, it also gives us an output of 0. So you might be tempted to say this is a relation, because many different inputs all give the same output. But remember that in a function, the rule is each input has only one output. It doesn't matter that all of the outputs are the same. What it matters is that a 2 always gives you an output of 0. An input of 3 always gives you an output of 0. An input of 4 always gives you an output of 0. And an input of 5 always gives you an output of 0. As long as the same input is not giving multiple different outputs, this can still be called a function. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Here's a table of inputs and outputs. Is this a function or a relation? Well, when you look at this table, you see that each input is only listed once. Therefore, each input has only one output. This is a function. Here's another table. Is this table a function or a relation? Well, on this table, several inputs are listed more than once. We can see an input of 1 shows up twice in the table. But both times an input of 1 gives us an output of 2. That's OK. So next we can see that the input of 2 is also listed twice. And one of these times the input of 2 gives us an output of 4. But the other time, the input of 2 gives us an output of 3. So this is an example of the same input giving us two different outputs. Therefore, this is not a function. This is a relation. Let's look at one more for today. Here's a table. Is this a function or a relation? Well, here we see the same input 4 is listed twice. But both times this 4 gives us an output of 8. You might have also noticed that you can get an output of 8 from an input of 6. But it doesn't matter that two different inputs give the same output. The problem is if one input gives many different outputs. So this table is still a function. From today, remember, 
Functions have only one output for each input, and that if the same input gives many different outputs, it is called a relation.